Hi everyone. All right. So here is a Michaels haul. This was from a couple of visits. Um, I know I've said before, I don't really shop at Michaels much, but um, I probably spent less than $20 on all of this. So uh, let's get started. Now this is how long it's been since I've had this stuff. This was, um, this is the uh, Ranger Ultra Thick Embossing Powder. This was on clearance at Michaels. I want to say this was at Michaels because it was in the Michaels bag. So I'm assuming <laughs> it is from there. I've been wanting this for so long that I don't even remember why I needed it. But I know I need, but I know I wanted it. So now I have to go and do some research on exactly how you use this because this is not regular embossing powder. This is ultra thick, and I know there's a reason, and I can't remember. So I got to go back and find it. But I've been putting off buying it because it was like I don't know, ten dollars or something, and I got it super cheap. So got that. Also got this stamp. It's just a planet. Saturn, you could say, um, when they were clearancing out a lot of the stamps. I think this was probably less than a dollar um, when I got it. Um, I did pick up this um, yarn because it was on clearance. I know this one was five dollars, I think. It's from Red Heart. It's a wrap uh, rainbow, but this is, and this is like 623 yards, but this is very fine. This is like super fine. One. So um, it's similar to the other yarn that I have where it's not just one strand. This one actually has, looks like it has th four threads. I was about to say three, but it's four threads. And this is um, really good for making pom-poms or you can even use it for making friendship bracelets too. So, um, I mean, with the other color selection, I don't know, I just gravitated toward this. I'm always about the greens and the blues. So got that. Picked this one up because this was on clearance for a dollar and these are little itty bitty 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 tiny brads. Christmas brads. They look like buttons and I thought that was so adorable. So I went ahead and got them even though I rarely use brads but I can think of a, a couple of things I can do with that for Christmas. So I, every time I go I always pick up these dollar stickers. Um, I have those other stickers, the more cartoony looking ones. I have like a ton of them, oh my God. This was back like 2015, 2014, when I first kind of got into the whole crafting planning thing and everybody was picking that up. And I'm talking about, well, even further back, like maybe even 2000, yeah, 14, when everyone was into the dollar, uh, the dollar spot um, planner stuff, you know, like the page flags, the notepads, the um, sticky pads, the pens, the pencils, like we were collecting them. And can you believe people were selling that shit for like $50, like, cause it was considered rare, especially some of them that were hard to find. Well, anyways, at that time I was, people were also buying a lot of the um, sticker books over at Michael's, you know, the ones that are a dollar. And I have like so many of those and I've never really used them. So I need to bust them out, give them to my, some of them to my nieces, or I don't know, figure out something with them. Cause I'm not going to donate them. I spent money on that and they need to be used. But anyways, these I can definitely use. They're not as cartoony um, as the other ones are. So they're a dollar. So this one's the coffee break. Um, this one is really, really cute. Food, crunch time, best time of the day. We've got some, and I've already actually started using this one. I have, so this is a, a double um, of the succulents. Um, actually, I think, why did I get this one? I think I was gonna give this to my friend Cat, because obviously cats. So the different wild cats. Uh, we got here some spring looking ones. Sorry if you're getting a glare. Um, wasn't looking up at the screen. So it's very spring-like or spring themed. Got another one here of like uh, the different cats, the fox, the dog, unicorns, you name it, really cute. Love this one with the drinks. This one, it's like, talk, you know, Cinco de Mayo, Taco Tuesday, whatever you want to call it. I like these cute little um, rainbows. Here's like the tropical foliage 
you know, and then summer and you know, you got your taco truck, you got your ice cream truck or whatever you want to call it, um, beach inspired. So you got that. This was um, from one of um, Michael's, you know, clearances. I probably have had this for two months, but it's a, a, a writing guide for addressing envelopes. Now, I don't really need this, but I'm giving this to my mom because she is really bad at uh, writing addresses on an envelope. And I, Lord knows how long she's been in the U.S. She's been here since like 1968. I think so you'd think she'd figure out by now how to write the ad an address on an envelope properly like hello it's name address city uh, state and zip code but she somehow seems to always mangle it up I don't know why but I'm gonna give this to her so that way it's all spaced out because her handwriting it's very very neat but it's so small that I feel like the machines aren't gonna be able to scan it very well and so it needs to be spaced out better so I'm gonna give her that and right now she's in Florida um, on vacation with my brother and his family and visiting um, my aunt who is my brother's sister who was also her classmate in nursing school so anyways um, yeah I'll give that back to her when she gets back so I've got here this was also on clearance at one point when I bought it um, I think this was I want to say it was 50 or was it 70 I can't remember I just know that they didn't have much of this left and I thought it was really cute so this is the she inspires us collection and these are really cute um, postcards so um, <laughs> I was thinking of like maybe actually mailing one to my niece who lives here in my in our hometown and just so that she would get a tr you know a kick out of getting something in the mail and she's all about girl power so um, she might like this one yeah so I got that and then I'd give her the rest of it and maybe give her the pad too I don't know but I thought it was really cute because these are kind of the things that she likes like her her uh, hero is uh, what is it now is Ginsburg Ruth Bader Ginsburg the judge so because she aspires to be a Supreme Court judge one day so I thought maybe she'll like this pad too you know not sure what she's gonna do with it but I'll ask her before I give it to her and then the last thing I got, which is the most recent thing, I went to Dollar, Dollar Tree, I'm so used to saying Dollar Tree, I went to Michael's recently because I was trying to see if they had any of the grab bags, not for myself, but for my mom because she's on the hunt for the um, fake flowers, you know, she, she likes to get that stuff and she had, and I think I have shown it on a previous uh, Michael's haul before that she had gotten like a big bag actually two big bags of flowers um, and now she's like hooked because she never knew about the um, grab bags until I told her about it and then we were at Michael's one day and they actually had them and she was able to find those flowers and now that's all she wants to get every time when they put out the um, grab bags she thinks that they're going to always have them but I told her not all the time so they didn't have any grab bags unfortunately and I don't know if they are because I didn't really see a lot of clearance that was left plus it would be clearance that I'm not interested in so anyways I did pick up the card stock because it was $3.99 when it's normally what is this $6.99 $7.99 I don't know anyways I thought this was a really good bargain because it's the foil like this one right here is the silver foil okay then I got the um, holographic one as you can see thank you glare um, I've been wanting to get this rose gold foil for the longest time but when I would go and get it it's always around Christmas and they would always be out and it wouldn't be on sale like this $3.99 I got um, the pastel foil and then I also got the jewel tone foil so um, I got these because yeah I have a lot of dyes plus I have some lace dyes from Sizzix that I want to try these out on um, it would be really pretty and I don't really need a lot I just wanted to get different colors and I mean they all come with 25 sheets each so that should be more than enough for me since I'm not using my dye machine die cutting machine that often um, so one other thing I want to show and it's not Michaels related but I thought I'd go ahead and throw it in the video since um, it doesn't really warrant its own video 
So there is a store here that we have called Bargain Hunt. If you're lucky enough to have one in, um, in your town, definitely go and look for these. Um, I thought, I bought one at first and then I was like, when I got home and actually really, really looked at it, I was like, okay, I gotta go and get more, okay? So these are um, giant binder clips, okay? By J.C. and Rolly. Now, these are like industrial grade is what it says on there. And these are super thick. I mean, they're like hardcore, like it's really like, like what would be attached to, you know, like a binder, um, what do you call it? Um, clipboard. So these are perfect for me. Like if I'm making, um, what do you call it? Traveler's notebook inserts and I need to hold it down so that I can, um, cut because I, I hand cut all of my inserts. Like this one right here, I made this insert. So you can see how thick it is. And um, I, I staple it and stuff. But when I'm cutting it, I really need to have clips that hold it down really well, like really tight. And these are perfect. Plus, these are really good for um, holding them open too. So, hold on here. Um, this is my COVID insert. This is all of last year, but I didn't write out, you know, not all the pages in here are about COVID. Like for instance, I, I had purchased a whole bunch of empty tape from the empty tape store here in the U S and, um, I did the samples this way. Okay. So anyway, so this is really good for holding your um, inserts so that they'll be flat. I mean, look at that. This is a standard size insert. So you can see how big these clips are. See? And I mean, look at that. Um, it's holding it flat down. So, uh, you know, I was able to get this a set of three for, look at that. An amazing, oops, upside down, $2 for three clips. I mean, these are, these are so awesome. So I went back the next day and bought two more because I do plan on including one of these in um, a future giveaway. I think I'm gonna do a giveaway maybe when I reach 500 subscribers. So it'll definitely, and then I, I got a backup. <laughs> I always get a backup when I like something. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna include this in a giveaway. So yeah, these were such an incredible find. Um, they did have more, but I was just like, you know what, three is enough. I don't need more than that. So yeah, so there we go. There is, that is my Michael's haul plus one bargain hunt haul, okay? So I hope y'all are having a great week and I'll see you again on the next haul. Bye.